So I was given this session by a group called the Brooklyn Kids. And once I imported all the audio tracks, I started to notice all the vocals were recorded extremely loud. There's three verses. I disabled the first and the last verse, including all its ad-libs and all its sound effects. And I just kept uh, the second verse, which is done by an artist named uh, TMCR, which is a good friend of mine. And I've recorded with him in the past. He brings a lot of energy. He's extremely loud in front of that microphone. So if you don't set your uh, levels correctly, you're going to have nothing but problems. And that's exactly what happened here. So I'm going to play you a clip. Check it out. Better bring a bottle, yo, Brooklyn kids. Mardi Gras titties in the air looking smooth like a Barbie doll. Fucking I ain't lying, yo. Chemistry conquers all. My man's back together like stitches on a body, dog. Came to rap party hard. Suckers need bodyguards. Lyrically shut them down like I got a body, y'all. Brooklyn kids, Ray G, original family. It's extremely loud. It's just about hitting zero. And if you add any EQ, compression, it starts to clip. It starts to overload. Chemistry conquers all. My man's back together like stitches on a body, dog. So yeah, that's not good. I don't want the track to overload. Some people wouldn't care. Some people would just start adding all the plugins and just start working like that. Me, what I like to do, I'll go to plugin, go to others, go to the trim tool, low it down about 3.3 dB. Let's play that. Better bring a bottle, yo, Brooklyn kids, Mardi Gras cities in the air, looking smooth like a Barbie doll. Now, one thing I have to tell you guys, the damage is already done. So if there's any parts that are distorting, you just have to deal with it, figure out how to work around that. So I'm going to go ahead and add the same EQ, the one band EQ. Better bring a bottle, yo, Brooklyn kids, Mardi Gras. Sweet. So it's not overloading anymore. So what you could do, you could keep adding plugins right under the trim, or you could duplicate the track. I don't have uh, active playlist, alternative playlist, automation. None of this is checked. Just hit OK. And I'm going to change the output on this track. I'm going to set it to bus TMCR. That's what I called it ahead of time. And on the input to the track we just created, set it to TMCR. Set that track to record. And let's record. Huh. Yo, yo. Better bring a bottle, yo, Brooklyn kids, Mardi Gras titties in the air, looking smooth like a Barbie doll. Fucking I ain't lying, yo. Chemistry conquers all my... All right, so now we could uh, add an EQ, compressor, and this shit and clip. Let's check it out. Better bring a bottle, yo, Brooklyn kids, Mardi Gras titties in the air, looking smooth like a Barbie doll. Fucking I ain't lying. Nice. So there you go, guys. That's how I deal with loud vocals. By the way, this works with drums. I've used this on just about everything in a session. Just remember, the damage is already done. You're just uh, giving yourself that extra headroom. Anyway, guys, this is Ray. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please post in the bottom. Give me a thumbs up and press that subscribe button. Later, guys.